Hello everybody and welcome back to the second channel. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to be looking at the subreddit. I haven't popped in there in a few days, so I hope that there's some interesting stuff in there. Maybe some silly stuff. Maybe we'll get a little bit goofy, a little bit wacky. You never know. So let's go ahead and sort by top. Let's go ahead and go this month. I haven't been there in like two weeks, I think, so. Let's check out this past month of posts. Also, this video is sponsored by Dragon City. Click the link in the description or scan this QR code to download the game. It's free. And you'll get a free special starter pack that includes food, gold, and the Flame Knight Dragon. Stick around to the end of the video to learn more. Okay, a couple updates here. My post from the last episode is currently like the most popular post on the subreddit in the past month. Actually, I wonder if like, I think it's the most popular post ever. Yo, I have the most, <laughs> okay, sick. Dude, it is. I have the most popular post ever on my subreddit. People have given it over 145 awards. Kind of ironic on a post that I'm, I'm literally saying, you guys can have the awards. You don't have to give me all the awards. And yet the people want what the people want, man, I guess. The people have spoken. I guess this entire revolution narrative was for naught in a sense. Okay, holy shit, also, uh, it looks like there's been a lot of growth on the subreddit. We have almost 80,000 Gregs. Somehow this post has been viewed by 137,000 people. How does that work? How is this showing up for people that aren't in the Danny Gonzalez subreddit? I don't know enough about Reddit to know how that works. Did this get on like the front page of Reddit? I feel like I would have heard about that if that were the case. So I don't think so, but I guess Reddit has some kind of algorithm and it's been recommending this specific post to people. It's like, hey, you're in the history porn subreddit? Well, just so you know, the Gregolution is over, over on the Danny Gonzalez subreddit. So I think it's time to head on over there. People who have no idea who I am. And it looks like uh, there's been some more dream Danny lore as well. I feel like the subreddit is becoming increasingly more and more like inside jokes. Like you have to watch every video to understand everything that's going on, which I don't really know if that's a good thing because like none of these posts are gonna make any sense to new people. But if you haven't been watching, I've been trying to establish myself as like a sort of a sleep paralysis demon of sorts. And honestly, it looks like it's been working. I've been seeing posts on the subreddit of people saying that they've had dreams about me. I don't know if they've been like sleep paralysis type things or if they've just been dreams, but I'm cool. I'm cool with whatever, you know, as long as I'm showing up in people's dreams. I think my ultimate goal is to have people who don't know who I am start dreaming about me. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but propaganda like this shit will definitely help. Have you seen this man? This man has been commonly found within the dreams of millions of people worldwide, typically asking to follow the cat. Yeah, that's real nice. That's real creepy. I wonder if you added these dark circles around my eyes or if you literally just boosted the contrast on this picture and that happened because that is kind of concerning Oh shit, someone commented right under this a dream they had about me I actually had a pretty strange dream with Danny in it. So in the dream I was hanging out with my friends in a big parking lot at night We saw a construction shed and decided to go in it and it wasn't big enough for all of us So they locked me outside at that moment I happened to notice a figure off in the distance then it proceeds to speed towards me as he stepped into the light I knew who it was Danny. I started to jiggle the door to the shed and bang I looked back, the bastard was smiling and was very close now. Okay, I like where this is going. I'm That's horrifying. Beautiful. I think you meant to say I had a pretty strange nightmare with Danny in it, actually. Then he said, you can see me in a creepy falsetto. You can, you, you can, you can see me? <clears throat> Why can't I do a falsetto right now? Oh. see me? Then I woke up and for the past three months, I still ain't been sleeping right. Oh shit. Wait. So this is before I asked to be a sleep demon. This person had this dream three months ago. Okay. I guess I just sort of naturally frightened this guy in his sleep. This guy is just straight up subconsciously afraid of me. Oh yeah. Andy negative responded to my TikTok. So if you guys haven't seen that, here that is. I thought I was done filming and then I checked my notifications and Danny, there's just so much outpouring of kindness from your audience. There's been so much brutal hatred for me over the past two months. I was definitely poking the bear a lot. Like I knew what I was doing, of course, but it just kind of got used to it and assumed that that was just the way it was going to be. And I see that it is not at all that way. And your audience just, has just come over here and just immediately shown me so much kindness and support and positivity. You can't even know like what an, a, an effect that just had on me. That was really sweet. I'm glad that he enjoyed the video and that people were nice to him. Actually, shout out to you guys for like being super sweet and nice. This is like the one time I'll be like, you know what? It was good of you guys to go over there and comment on his videos because you guys were all actually really nice to him. So I appreciate that. Andy, if you're watching this, you know, DM me. I don't know if you have Twitter or something, but DM me if you want to do a song. Andy, you and me, we can invent a new genre. Yeah, let's see, your last song people said was like 
Disney emo punk or something. Let's go a tad bit more millennial. Let's go Harry Potter LMFAO punk. That'd be pretty tight. Let's make a song. Uh, hit me up. Well, Danny, you've been wanting more dads in the sub and I just became one, so can I count? Oh, shit! <laughs> Yo, this dude had a baby. Congrats. You know what? I think you do count, technically. You are a dad. I don't know why I said technically. In every way you are a dad. This isn't just some sort of technicality. He gets off on a slight technicality. The technicality being that he conceived a child. Is your baby like really shiny? You got a glossy baby, dude. Congrats. He actually does look just like you, so congrats. Since you are a new dad, I don't really know if I can go up to 10 out of 10. I, I gotta go low. I gotta give you like a 4 out of 10 because you're there for the baby. You were there for its birth. That's saying something. That's saying a lot, but you've got a lot to learn, okay? I don't know how good you are at cable management. No, that feels really mean. I can't give him a 4 out of 10. You get a 10 out of 10, all right? We'll focus on what you have to learn later. Enjoy your new baby. You're a 10 out of 10 dad. Let's see the comments. Yo, he's still shiny. Yeah, this picture was around 45 minutes after he popped out. Do babies come out shiny? I guess they're like wet, but this is like, I mean, they must have cleaned him off, right? It's been 45 minutes. I assume they're not just letting him like sit around in the juices he popped out in, right? Dude, your wife just gave birth and one of the first things you do is go on Reddit and tell some YouTuber you just became a dad. As it should be. You know, with all of these videos, with me trying to become like a sleep paralysis demon, I'm really just trying to like make sure that no matter what you do, you're thinking about me. If you're dreaming, if you're, you know, even considering the concept of a dad, you're thinking about me. So I'm glad to see it's working. Also, he did clarify and say that the baby was actually born on March 30th. He took the pictures when he was born and then he posted it later. So it's not like he was like literally like vlogging the baby coming out. Danny's gonna love this shit, dude. Look at this shiny baby boy. I wonder if he's gonna keep that gloss or if he'll grow out of it. But other than that, pretty cool. Danny wanted a new profile picture. So I made him this as a treat, a more modernized look of Danny thought the beard was a cool look. What exactly is modern about this? So I'm wearing a tux and it looks like you gave me forehead wrinkles and bloodshot eyes. I think that's the only difference I can discern. And then there's another picture where I have a beard. Is this what I look like now? This is the only difference? Do I have forehead wrinkles? If I go like this? Guess I'm not really sure what you're trying to say. Okay, you did put gray in my hair. So that makes sense. He got pink eye. Okay, so that's why my eyes are red. The forehead wrinkles are so uncalled for. It's the stress from all the critical thinking. Oh, okay, that's pretty tight. You should have made my brain like gigantic from all the critical thinking I do. Yeah, I'm not, honestly, I'm not really following like the tr the logic in a lot of it. I guess it's just like, cause I'm older. Do old people have bloodshot eyes? I should have wrinkles around my eyes, but I don't know why my eyes would be bloodshot. Well, keep up the good work with, with the memes. There's definitely room to improve. This was a little confusing to me. Danny should buy pillows that spell Greg for his couch. That's actually a sick idea. I really like that idea. I do want to get throw pillows for the couch. I just haven't gotten around to it yet, but that is actually kind of a cool idea. I haven't figured it out. Like I want to have Greg in the background somewhere, but the letters, they don't really go anywhere now. There's nowhere to put them. So maybe, maybe some Greg throw pillows, dude. That would be kind of cool and cute and wacky. He should put the Greg shelf on top of the couch so the shelf can be comfy. Nah, I don't think so, man. Bye, he should follow a crappy Troom Troom DIY video and show us how he made the Greg pillows. That's not a bad idea. Does Troom Troom have DIY throw pillows? This is not gonna look like a Greg, so I'm not gonna follow that one. Let's look at this one. Okay, they just straight up drew these on on marker. I'm not gonna do that. I want these to look nice, you know? I don't know about following a Troom Troom tutorial, actually. This is gonna look like shit. Yeah, they straight up just got out markers and then they just drew that shit by hand. Yeah, that's gonna look like ass. How about like a five minute crafts? 13 awesome pillow and blanket ideas that are so easy to make. I can turn a sweater into a pillow. I can turn a shirt into a pillow. I bet I could repurpose this idea into making a Greg throw pillow. Do I want G-R-E-G -E pillows or do I want just one pillow that says gray. Depends. Also, what color should I go for? A lot to think about. I will revisit this idea. I like this a lot. Can I just buy alphabet pillows? Personalized initial pillows. Oh, these actually look kind of cool. What colors do that? Blue or pink? Oh. Guess I gotta pick blue because I'm a boy. Oh, would pink look kind of cool back there? Okay, so this is definitely a possibility. There's a possibility I could make this happen and it is possible to do. I'll update you guys on this as I find out more. Danny and his cousin Zayden meeting their favorite musician, Fox Season AKA Ned Flames. Man, I don't know about you guys, but this looks like three distinct and different people. And I wouldn't think these people are the same people at all. This could be the same guy disguising himself as three different people and I'd have no idea. I'd have no clue because they look so different and unique. I found this drawing from like a year ago. No wonder I gave up on realism. Yeah, man. Um, No, that's really good, dude. Come on, come on, don't give up. Uh, this is, uh, it's really, it's great. Look, it looks just like me. Or actually, I wish I looked like that. I wish you actually 
actually drew me better than I really I even am. So good job, good job. It's definitely a drawing. I definitely put a pencil on some paper. Yeah, you did. You did. You put some pencil on some paper. And honestly, this is better than I could do. He kind of looks like Elon Musk. Oh, I kind of do, I guess. This is Danny after one year on the Liver King diet. Put a beard on me and make me jack. Actually, I do kind of look like strong. I feel like I've got like very like round, big shoulders. I do look kind of jack. I feel like I'm very wide. Maybe this is me after a Liver King diet. Petition to bring back This Is Over Now at the end of main channel videos. I feel like I've seen more people talking about this recently. I don't remember when I stopped using the song, but I feel like it was like a year ago. So it's kind of interesting that people are just like talking about it now. Let me look and see if I can go back to like whenever the last time I used this song is. The reason I stopped using it is just honestly got a little bit lazy and just was like tired of throwing it in at the end of a video. And you know, YouTube is always talking about like retention. And so if there's just like unnecessary stuff at the end of a video and people aren't gonna watch it, I feel like it hurts your retention or whatever. This was from March of last year. The outro, I can please, I'm gonna use please. all the footage. Bye. Bye. Over a year ago, and I wasn't using the song then, at the end of 2020, I was using the outro song. Let's solve this mystery together. When did Danny stop using the song? I do not remember. Okay, in June of 2021, I was using the song. So I guess I took a break from it for a little bit. I didn't use it here. I did use it here. Let's go a little bit further. Okay, and now I am using it in July of 2021. Let's go, let's go, let's go to October 2021. I'm not using it. Okay, October, I stopped. So that was this video. We're gonna find the exact moment that I said, you know what, fuck the end screen song. I'm not using it in the alpha male video. Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys. Okay, Twin Talk, I didn't use it. So the last video I used it on was Crying Troom Troom's Awful Kidnapping Hack six months ago. So I guess it wasn't a year ago, it was six months ago. I don't know if I really wanna use it anymore. It's just like extra stuff at the end of the video. It kind of just feels like putting like a really long thing at the end of a video that nobody watches. So I don't know, maybe I can still play it during like the outro, like me talking at the end of a video. We'll see. Justice for Toe Slurper 3000, posted by Toe Slurper 3000. Oh my God. I can't believe I watched the new Danny video, excited for some new content, only for him to disparage my creative and unique username. I will be in contact with my legal team and negotiate a defamation charge. do it. That takes care of that. Oh, dude. Panda Puffkin back with some fucking sick fan art. Panda Puffkin, you made my um, Twitch emotes too. This is so cool. I look like a god. That's how I prefer to be depicted. So thank you for this. Oh, posting on Drew's subreddit as well, I see. Interesting. I'm making the rounds. Did I already talk about these? Maybe I've already seen these. That's so cute. Yeah, you got the best art. Hard Rock Nick just texted my friends, LMAO. Can you like my last 25 posts on Instagram? They need more oiks. I got you. Thank you, Jack. Oh, there's more pictures. I bought a Ferrari. Dude. Oh my god, that guy's so weird. I don't even like talking about him because he's so creepy. What's up, Nick? Your chain is sick. Thank you. I just bought a Ferrari. Yo, you like my chain? You know what you're really gonna like is this car that I didn't buy. You know what? Sometimes I say don't message people because I don't want to send people over to harass them. Don't message Hard Rock Nick because he's fucking weird and he's creepy. So don't message him. Okay, I think we've gone through all the top of the month. Let's look at top of the week and see if there's any here. Yo, that's cool. Danny's room in Lego, very accurate and wholesome. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know if I would have put that face on the Nutcracker also. That's a little bit disturbing, but this is pretty cool. And you added the new couch. Let's go. Danny, please, where can I get this shirt? It's literally so cool. Please, I'm desperate. Dude, I've never gotten so many nice comments about a shirt in a video before than when I wore this shirt. I was kind of worried people would think it was dumb. It's just from Urban Outfitters and it looks like people already found it. Yep, there it is. There's the one. I'm glad I got so many nice comments about it. It was kind of sweet, honestly. I was like, guys, mm -hmm. god damn. I wonder if like sales for this specific shirt skyrocketed after my video. Okay, now let's go. Let's Let's go hot right now. See if there's anything else good. What is the male equivalent of Karen? Is it Greg? I feel like it's Greg. Dude. No, it's not Greg. Karen is like a common middle-aged woman name. It's not, no, it's not Greg. Gregs are nice people, okay? Gregs are nice guys. You wanna know the name of a guy that sucks? Try, I don't know, Charles? Most popular baby names in 1950. This'll get us to around the age of a man Karen would be. Yeah, Charles, look, Charles is there. All right, I'm gonna go with Charles. Sorry, if there's any Charles watching this or Charlies, you are the male Karen. All right, seems like that's the cream of the crop on the subreddit for this week. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm excited to see what you post next time. 
And now it's time to talk about our sponsor. Dragon City is a free to play mobile game that is available on all devices. I know how much you guys are into collecting dragons. Well, don't worry, cause this game has you covered, dude. You can collect thousands of dragons with different elements and build your own dragon empire. Along the way, you'll have to collect food, gold, and gems so you can grow your city and reach new levels just like real life. Growing your flying empire actually involves breeding two dragons together to get new dragon eggs. You hatch them, you feed them, you evolve them. Give, the, give them a good life, you know? These dragons need you. And then after that, you're gonna train them and send them into battle to make them more powerful. You can challenge your friends to dragon fights, meet them up in a PvP match in combat or arena fights. You can join an alliance, meet up with other dragon masters. And if you join the battle pass and participate in the weekly mini games, you can win daily prizes and dragons. Also, apparently there are dragons for uh, a bunch of YouTubers. So maybe your favorite YouTuber has a dragon. A uh, Dream has a dragon. George is not found. Darman has his own dragon. So download the game by clicking the link in the description or scanning this QR code and you will get a free special starter pack that includes 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and the Flame Knight Dragon. Bye.